Yo guys, what's up? LeeHip998, and today we're playing Red Dead Redemption Part 1. I'm, and I'm also here. Also, AMK12 is here. Subscribe to his channel. This dude. I'm running. Go to the southern, right? I'm going in. Right, boys. Let's see what's going on here. Mr. Marfin, over here. You must be John Marston. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater. Well, I'm just gonna listen to this guy. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet. Hey guys, Amik Amik Twelve is saying no. Seems I see you. Bye. Follow Jake to the horses. All right, I'm, I'll do that then. Why, why is that guy lying on the ground? Yeah, I'm go. Got black. Wait, no black horse. That's all right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the horses, the red the potential will be, will be like, be like, um. Oh shit! <laughs> Better be very careful. I didn't play Red Dead Redemption for like weeks. I, I remember the time I played on Xbox 360, but I played it on Xbox, but then it's not available on Xbox One backward compatibility. I don't see any gold right here. I'm pretty sure you'll find golds in the cave. I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I said, you ain't gonna find many folk around those. He's gonna be your old friend anyway. Don't you do find about as sociable as most readers back to you? I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but well, he ain't been friends for a long time. Here's a young. He hasn't been friends for like a long time. Mercer Station. Yeah. Oh, it was the marshal who hired me. Lee Johnson. Do you know him? I think I heard his name. He I heard there's like an Easter egg and Red Dead Redemption. There's like a lot in this monster, but it's actually him. fake because That's on the right. on the Google, there's a picture of the of the a water and there's like a creature in there. But it's not, it's, it's actually been photoshopped. But when you because when you find the original picture, it's not. There's nothing in the water. They're very sneaky, so they are. There it is. Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> Oh, I'm ready to get off my horse here so I can approach this place. In the phone. Oh, it 
looks like the approach is one here. This is gonna have a word with this, this idiot. What are you doing now? You just gotta stare at the door. Bill! Bill, I've come for you! Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Go away now, John! <laughs> Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill! You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? I think you do. Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. You never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge. Oh no, you're not. You're not going to be no in charge. Dutch. And no more you. <laughs> implores. I I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> Why haven't you brought your gun? I you. hope you're not dead. The hell, how'd you get there? You were, you were like lying by the door, but now you're there. Oh, there's some people. You always make sure you have the gun with you in this case that they're gonna come out and shoot you. I can't believe that if I haven't his friend friends has shot him. Like he's still alive. I think they shot him onto the side of the body, I think. She went locked it, that government boy. <laughs> New friends, old problems. And it's loading on our loading screen. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. I was right, he is alive. <laughs> so, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. You really like your hat a lot. Uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. 
Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. All right. Oh, time to come out. Going Bonnie, right. Time I started paying back that fifteen dollars. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. Let's go then. What with Bonnie? <laughs> I just pushed her. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, this is very fine. Like this is what I like to do. Oh my good God! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> we try again. If you keep trying it, she will fall. It's kind of hard. I'll try again. One God name! <laughs> uh, that, that, I could do this all day, but anyway, we're just going to take on doing my thing there. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good for nothing outlaws, such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Okay, let's see if you can still ride a horse. I'm going to take that black horse because the black ones are very cool. Come on, then. I'll show you around the property. Oh, if you guys want me to uh, play Red Dead Redemption on Dead Nightmare version or DLC, where I can call it, you won't find leave a comment, let me know. But it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. Certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, I don't you steal horses. Idea? First impressions are hard to erase. Try to keep up, will you? Let's what? go. Yeah, please don't stop shouting me. I'm, I'm just looking at the fucking horses in there. We'd be so mean. I'm looking at the train station. Yes. Yeah. Good woman. I'm looking at the fucking train station. Slow up. I don't have time to be waiting around. Shut up and just keep going. I know what's going to happen here. I think we're going to be had to do with the rabbits. Here we are, back in the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaint from me, Miss McFarland. I better just put my horse back here. What are you waiting for? Come on, I don't fight. There you go. You're not going anywhere. My horse. How about you stop waiting for me? Uh How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. And <sighs> All right, let's see. There he goes, he's got his full rifle on. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. 
Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country well, is really beautiful. Well, very funny that he just shot in the roof and then it just, the ceiling just from broke. We'd best get moving. This is a dangerous time of night for us. Right, make it worse. Yeah, my dad's like on tie the rope there or something. Wait, or does it? Or if I go on their horse, maybe it will be on tie. Oh yeah, it does. That's all right. Keep your eyes open and try not to get yourself shot again. I'll not get shot. I'll not get myself shot. No problem do that. You got my gun out. Oh, there's one. There. I think the other one got away. Just jump onto my horse. I need money. All right then. Wait, what was that? I thought I just saw a coyote standing there, but no, nah, it's just a shadow. Why the hell did you shoot there? Oh shit, coyotes. Does these coyotes ever ever stop? Chickens, I know that they taste so good, but... Oh, the other one run away. Better get my, better get on my horse. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Too fast there. Better just slow, better just slow down here. The other coyote got away. I just ran that way. Well, it'll be well. I'm pretty sure if I see more coyotes out there, I'm pretty sure I'll kill them. Here we are. Oh, he did. Well, this is my room. Horse and Mitch and Mitchum, me Hitchum. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy. I <sighs> Get some sleep, and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarland. You can sleep in the bed in your room to save your game. I would save right now, just make, just making sure. You can also pick up extra ammo from the trunk in your room. Current dead eye level. Fame. 150. 
It's safe to give. Just making sure. I know that says saving there, but I just making sure that it is saved. Yes, I will save the game. Excuse me. I'm not choosing IFS. I like this IFS. It looks better. Some people even deal in valuable information about the surrendering in the form of maps or newspapers. Go to B on your map to speak with Bonnie. I think I uh oh yeah I didn't I, I might do need my horse. I think I think I, I think I know this mission. Oh yeah, that spot would be perfect. Here, this is what they can match. You can match your you can hit your horse here. I oh, forgot this is let him stay here. Pretty sure he not go anywhere anyway. Oh, Mr. Marston, how are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you, how are you? Well, I'm fine, thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson, or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets, so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. This is the race, I just knew. I knew this was going to be a race. Alright, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. Come on, boy. Let's go. Ready for this? On the count of three. Three, Here we go. Two, one, go! I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this! You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland! I think you chose the wrong horse, Miss McFarland! Should I wait for you to catch up? Oh, I don't know where I'm going. Go. Are you set? Whoa, what a jump. I thought I was going to crash there. Jesus, me. How you doing back there? Oh, excuse me, you found push this me. No, no, you're going the wrong way. Excuse me, I, I always went the wrong direction there. Come on. I need to go faster. Yeah. Come on, Mr. Marston. You're not as bad as I thought you'd be. 
shit. I, I can't even focus on the screen and the map. I had to focus on the map so I can see where I'm going. But I'm worried that my head's off and I might bump into something. Might run into a rock if I was, if I was focusing on the map. Still behind me. I might have to make sure I'm focusing on the path. Well, at least it's daylight because it was from a dark all but there and I can't even see where I'm going because it was like lots of shadows on the trees. Very far behind. Maybe this is like give. Oh, I'm gonna make it here. Would you like me to slow down? The way that there's like fire marks and the camera reminds me of the. GTA 5 when you're doing a race and then there's like these checkpoint arrows and there's a chicken run pass by. That was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. Just chilling. I'm just chilling on wood plank. I better go do the visit. You know, so let me do. Let me do a mission here. Bonnie. You really think that she's called herself Bonnie, and then also the Final of Freddy's character named Bonnie. The Bonnie is. Is named that as well. well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> take the driver's seat. Come on. Wait, I'm going around. How many going around the other way? Looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on Whoa. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a take my time this kind of country if you don't Train tracks that. as well. The yellow line highlight on the map shows the shortest route. Safe for your what current you? transport. Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. Me. Watch where you're going, you're filming people. Women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, I had a bit of pity you there. Oh, yes, yeah, it's very funny. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I just knocked that guy over his horse. I am a bounty hunter. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Mr. Farland. I really do. Springs. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. Boo, bitch, get out of the way. That would be very funny that if I ran that deal over, and then a deal would be like, hurt so bad. But it didn't work, the deal just got pushed out of the way instead. Whoa, 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 what the hell? What the hell did I just went over? 
I just feel I think I just hit something. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Wait, wait, where's she going? Oh, she's going in there. I better just go, go to the doctor's office. All right. Yep, there you go. And here I am. How can I help you? I hear that Marshall kisses How are you, mister? I'm selling some good tonics if you need them. I had to go out hunting for some animals and get their skin and then I'll get some money there and then I'll get myself the apple and then the chewing tobacco. Talk to Bonnie outside the general store. Okay, I'm doing it then. Wait, there she is. Thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once and the little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. Oh, we're not gonna get shot. <laughs> If you want to leave Armada, there are usually they could just loading and I think it has to read that. I think I want to see what what is the button to call your horse. Let's see here, a little closer. Because yeah, if you guys wonder why I'm getting so close, because I have a big TV. Ah, there it is. It's this button here. Right. Oh, he's over there. Jesus, me. You please be careful. Why can we? Well, here's a sheriff's office. Yeah, I have a big TV screen, folks. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> It's disgusting. Up, you? Now what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. <coughs> I did. Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come what, you, you getting cute with me, boy? I'm not shooting the feeling. What's going Shh, on here? Please. I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. Listen to your sheriff. That person, that, that person's like, God damn it. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. 
me. Because he even starts spitting, it's fucking disgusting. Oh, I didn't see enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking whore. Dickhead. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister, and I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. What's he doing? What's that prisoner doing? He doing like a little dance back there. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. <sighs> Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You guys got very small cups. You know, got like a big cup. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. The saloon's this way. Company Marshall Johnson to the saloon. Bunch of two bit hoodlums led by this fella called Walt. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folks. That's an interesting approach to law. He does. Guess we're gonna spy on him then. Mount up, Marston. Walton's our man. He spotted you. Stay on him, boy. And. Yeah. Yeah, well, we had to make sure he doesn't spot us. We don't want to get too close to him. If Walton's as bad as you say he is, why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. Ask their horse. Wonder can you give the horse a name? That might be good. That law is easy money for easy work. Jola Springs. Bridge. These boys get around. Walton's the start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Let's go. He's headed for Pleasant's house. Let's stop so we can get a better look. Okay, let's stop here. Oh, oh yeah, over here. Let's over here. I didn't see them were coming. Damn. Take cover. 
We'll work our way up this hill. Take cover behind that wagon to your right. Go, 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 go. Then hit there. I think it has to read that at the bottom there. Boy, I'll cover you. Sure is a lot of them. Take that the rock, boy. Take out the outlaw behind the rock. I got you, boy. Make a move for that boat. Well, what a slight move. Dead. Take cover behind the outhouse. Careful, there may be more of them. Just run off home. On the other side. You couldn't hit a bull's ass with a back foot. Shadow reload. Capture walls and either alive by shooting him in the legs. Go to go to Walton, right? Not going anywhere, Walton. Mr. Marson. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Yeah. Wonder well, I wonder is that guy gonna be comfortable lying on lying on the horse or even though he's tied up. On my horse over here. And here it comes, here it comes. button in the ancient map. Oh, oh wait, hang on a second. Wait, that's not it. Let me see, where's, where is the... Where's the house at? Is that there? I'll go with it. yeah, that must be it. Let's go. So many people are here riding horses out here. Yeah. Save the treasure hunter. Oh shit. Problem for you there, boy. <clears throat> right now, I hate it when maybe because of the dot on your gun shows it red that you know that's an enemy you're pointing at. That's why I'm pointing at the two guys, see if they are the enemies. These people passed. Oh dear. Oh, wait, I get a deer. Got him. Oh, she. What? What? She, she's still going. Skin off. Yeah. 
I mean, animals provide all sorts of for all. I think I just, I get dig in chest to read that. I'm terrible. Wait, they put the knife away. No, wait, hold on. Is that actually? Is this actually? It? No, hold on, let me look at the map again. Oh no, there it is. It's green. What the hell? What's going on? Oh. What the hell's going on? Use one of posters to begin hunting a bounty target. I'll do that right. Where's that? Oh, here it is. That bounty. <laughs> bounty target was last seen near the hanging rock. Hold on a minute, I think I'm had to put the waypoint off. Oh here it is, here is the skull. Wait. I wonder if there's any bulls around here somewhere. Let's go. Yeah guys, I I play like Red Dead I saw my brother play this game Red Dead Redemption on the Nightmare version and then the zombies were filming like crazy as Oh shit there are Oh shit, no, she's getting away. I better get my horse. Come on, go, go, get over here. He's getting away. I better get him. Excuse me. Yeah, so, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Wait, but did he went this way? There he is. And near the dead body and lit the bounty target corpse. What should I do with that? What should I do with a horse share? I don't know what should I kill. I know I don't, I don't know. Oh. Let the coyotes eat it. Fill a spring. Yeah. 
still more. Wait, there's one. That, there's another one here. Over here. Oh shit, there's more. Or there's a gal. Get down. What the hell? No, you killed my horse. You fucking killed my horse. No. Oh shit, my horse is dead. Okay, what are you nearby? Well, I'm sorry why I just had to do this. I'm an idiot from shot my horse. Wonder if I take the horses, but wait, where where where's where our horse at? Dang it! I have no horse. Wait, wait, come back here. Wait, what? what the hell got our horse? Oh yeah, I forgot. I have an ignore horse. I mean my black one died. He just fucking killed it. Wait there, wait there he is. Right now. Yeah. Oh, boom! Oh, it didn't work. Maybe because uh, if I knock that guy over, it would be very funny. The horse stamina gets low, additional present will slow it down. This eventually leads to getting bugged off. I know. I know about this game a little bit. Yeah, what well, you know, like when I was watching my brother playing the Red Dead Redemption and on Dead Nightmare version and it was there was a very good game, the zombies in it. It was very I like how it was very funny when these people don't understand about zombies, they never heard of zombies and worse the zombies are from run very fast they can run. I'm just going to get back to the house and see if... Let's go. Whoa, whoa. Oh, geez, man. I was just looking behind me to see where, like, where's that guy going. Get 
the hell are you screaming about? Get the game here. Hey guys, I'm just going to end this part here, so thank you for watching and hit that subscribe button. Oh. And then if you guys want to make part 2, leave a comment, let me know. So, so goodbye everyone.